There is a palpable excitement at Cleveland Clinic, and part of that comes from being the number one heart center, that spirit of innovation. A place like Cleveland Clinic changes your life. The great surgical volume and the case complexity, there's really nowhere like it. We have a six-year integrated program in cardiothoracic surgery. Training under the giants in cardiac and thoracic surgery. You talk to them in the hallway, you talk to them about the patients. Their goal is to get you involved, whether it's in the OR with research. They want you to find your voice and to have a presence here. Our program is one of the biggest in the country. We are by far the highest in complexity for any cardiac surgery program in the United States. The volume is unmatched, but even more impressive, the quality is unmatched. And so I say all the time that uncommon things happen commonly at Cleveland Clinic, which is a really great learning environment. You see such complex problems, which are really tough to learn from a textbook, and it's something that you really need to see and manage throughout your residency to know how to do that well. They're going to learn to do the simple operations pretty early, but at the end of their training, they will be seeing the most complex operations. You have no fear as a resident by the time you finish here. You will know how to handle everything. Two things make this program unique. The first is everything happening in cardiothoracic surgery in the entire world is happening here. The second is a real dedication to teaching and making sure that our residents are super well trained. Most of us have done some training at Cleveland Clinic and we have retained many of our own because we know that once you finish this training program, you are a flat out expert. We have a, what we call an I-6 program, which means we have a six year track. The first three years are a little bit more general surgery, vascular surgery, but more of a mixture. And years four through six are generally tailored towards your cardiothoracic training. We have over 21 operating rooms. All of them have A and B rounds. Every day you can pick a case based on something that you're interested in, and it's guaranteed to be there. When you walk down the halls and you look at the case board, it kind of feels like being a kid in the candy shop sometimes. There's no competition for resources. There's an abundance, and that really helps create a wonderful place to train. We rotate for regional hospitals during the first and second year in general surgery and vascular surgery and cardiothoracic surgery. We get a lot of autonomy early on. I am in my first year of the six-year process. For me, operative independence is confidently being able to say, I can do this, and standing there on the right side of the table and executing it well. And that's already starting even during my intern year. We do our rotations three months at a time, working closely with one or two attendings. These uh, residents are doing redos, complex redos, in their second and third years. Fourth year is a big transition year where you do mainly cardiac and thoracic surgery. I'm on the congenital cardiac surgery rotation and it's been fantastic. The opportunity for the residents to see an integrated quaternary care center like our pediatric program at main campus, as well as a children's hospital, which 80% of them who decide to go into pediatrics will practice at a freestanding children's hospital. So that dichotomy really embellishes their experience on the pediatric service. You get increasing operative independence over the course of the six years. And by the time you're a sixth year, your chief year, essentially your role is to really specialize in what you want to do in the future. You can adjust how you want that final year to look so that you can get really super specialty training in areas like aortic surgery, which makes you a much more valuable candidate for jobs in the future, whether you're looking to do academic surgery or be part of a big group. So you're truly, at the end of the six years, are able to lead the case and dictate how it's going rather than be just an assistant. We constantly are looking at our program and looking for new ideas, new ways to educate our trainees. We have weekly education every Wednesday morning and for us that's dedicated time. No matter what rotation we're on, we always meet in person. You're learning from the expert in the field and they're giving you these little tidbits that you wouldn't read in a book. This is knowledge that I can't get anywhere else, you know, ever again. We work very closely with some of our biotech companies. We get our hands on the latest technology we're also working on a virtual reality simulation that allows us to 
put ourselves in difficult situations in cardiac surgery. Everybody works on research projects and most of our residents have a number of major publications and presentations. Every faculty staff has different projects that we can get involved in. There are opportunities to do basic science projects. We have a PhD program offered to us. The resources here are just so incredible and deep and vast that I knew that I was going to be able to become the surgeon that I wanted to be. Whenever I come to work, it doesn't feel like work sometimes. Like, yes, you work hard, but you're doing it with people that you truly enjoy to be around. We have a resident fellow office. It's where we all spend time. Everyone talks about cases. Oh, I did this today, I did that today. We have a good time together inside and outside the hospital. It's been a good experience, not just for us, but for our partners to be able to feel included in this residency journey. When you live here in Cleveland, you really feel that you can do the most with your free time because it's accessible. We have everything from great restaurants, metro parks, but also it's very easy to meet new people. We've really quickly established a network of friends here. We've really found our home here in Cleveland. I count myself very lucky to work with some of the world leaders in cardiac surgery. I won't lie, when I first thought about it before coming here, it was a very intimidating prospect. But when you actually get into the OR with them, their only concern is to train you and to make you good. Our residents, we know from the beginning, they're highly selected individuals, they're highly intelligent, they're very accomplished. So they walk in the door and we have very high hopes for them. Our residents inspire us, their curiosity drives us to innovate. If you gravitate to doing aortic surgery or robotic mitral valve or heart failure or pediatric congenital heart, we are the leaders. They're going to be your mentor for the rest of your life. My graduates send me texts all the time six months after they're out in practice. Hey, I did my first David this week and it's, it's really cool to see that. I think it's really fulfilling to see the transition from an intern to a graduating resident, fully minted surgeon who is able and confident to manage sick and complex patients. To be part of that, it's very fulfilling and very rewarding. The opportunities to become an academic surgeon, to do really thoughtful, progressive and meaningful research, and then the ability to be a leader in the field, it sets you up to be the best surgeon you could possibly be.